Hello, and welcome back to Kim Reads as we continue with Barbie Fairy Tales. And this one is Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. She was good and kind and very beautiful. Cinderella lived with her stepmother and stepsisters who were jealous of her beauty. They made poor Cinderella do all the housework. One day, a fancy invitation arrived. The king and queen are giving a ball in the honor of the prince, exclaimed Cinderella's stepmother. All the young ladies in the kingdom are invited. On the evening of the ball, Cinderella had to help her stepsisters and stepmother get dressed in their beautiful gowns. Oh, how I wish I could go to the ball, said Cinderella. Don't be silly, Cinderella, said her stepsister. You have nothing to wear. After everyone had left for the ball, Cinderella ran to the garden and began to cry. But soon, something wonderful happened. A woman appeared and said gently, Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother. Why are you crying? I can't go to the ball, sobbed Cinderella. Of course you can go to the ball, said the fairy godmother. With the wave of her wand, she turned four mice into horses, a pumpkin into a carriage, and a cat into a coachman. Then poof! The fairy godmother turned Cinderella's old dress into a shimmering gown, and on Cinderella's feet were slippers made of glass. Remember, warned the fairy godmother, the magic lasts only until midnight. After the prince saw Cinderella enter the palace ballroom, he danced with her and no one else. But all too soon the clock began to strike midnight. Oh no, I must go, cried Cinderella. As Cinderella ran from the palace, she lost one glass slipper, but there was no time to pick it up. At the final stroke of midnight, Cinderella's gown turned back into her old clothes. The next morning, the prince sent his grand duke throughout the kingdom to find the owner of the tiny glass slipper. When his stepsisters turned to try on the slipper, their feet were much too big. I'd like to try on the shoe, please, said Cinderella shyly. Ever so gracefully, Cinderella slipped her foot into the tiny slipper. It fit perfectly! Cinderella and her parents soon married and lived happily ever after. Thanks for listening, and that is the end of the Barbie fairy tales. Hope you enjoyed. Good night.